In this question, we will divide polynomials using long division or synthetic division. Even this can be solved directly in calculator by shortcuts. So there are a few tricks. There's one more thing before I tell you the calculator method. Some people find multiplication easy than division. So if you multiply the divisor, see this is the divisor, right? With the correct answer, you must get the question back, the dividend back. So x minus 3, multiply all of these, whichever gives you this part, that is 5x power 4 and so on, is the correct answer as well. But that takes a long time. You have to multiply four times, you know, a maximum of four times. So the easier way is calculate a method. So let us see how it is. Here as well, you assume a certain value for x. Now, what I would do is, since it's only one variable, x is the only one variable, instead of assuming it as 2 and typing 2, to be on the safer side, I'll take it as x itself, alpha x to the power of 4. And then we have plus 2 al x cubed. I'll tell you why I'm taking it as x itself in a minute. 64 x squared minus 95 x plus 132 divided by what is it x minus 3 now i can assume x value directly by putting calc and let me calculate it as 2 x value always I assume as 2 is 138 this will be equal to 138 at x is equal to 2 now why did I choose x instead of, you know, directly substituting 2? Because I can double check easily. See, it's 5x to the power 4 plus 2al x cubed minus 64x squared minus 95x plus 132 and x minus 3. It's correct in this case, but if I have made some error, it will easily allow me to double check. If it is 2 to the power 4, one thing is you should always add multiplication sign. And one more thing is, if at all you have made an error, it's a little bit hard to understand. So here, at when you calculate the x value of 2, it's 138. Now, which gives us over here, whichever the answer gives us the same 138, that's the correct answer. So let me take it as one, first one, x. Okay, now before I go ahead, I'm not going to choose the first one. Why? Because I know for sure this cannot be the answer. I have the highest degree in the dividend as x power 4. And this I'm dividing the highest degree x. So it should be x power 3. So now here, either b, c or d is correct. It's not a because uh, this is wrong. We don't have x power 3 here. So I'm not going to take that. Let me choose the option b and check. x power 3, 5x power 3 plus 27x power 2 plus 17x minus 44. It's no problem. Even if you try this, you'll just not get 138. You'll get some other value. See, now the calculate, it's already saved. I'll just press equal to, oh, in fact, this is the correct answer. Now, once I saved x as 2, it will always be saved as 2 itself. You don't have to type it again and again. Now, over here, I got this correct. This is the correct answer, you can see. But let me choose the last one, just, to, uh, just for argument's sake. It is 5x cubed minus 27x squared minus 17x plus 44. So here, the answer is minus 58, which is not the same as 138. Or oh, you take any other value, it will not be the same thing. Only one correct answer can be possible in the four options. So that's how we can do division very easily. Let me do this one as well. So your power 5 and your divided by 1 should be power 4, but all are power 4. So we have to try all. Now, how do we do is, let me type this out. 2x power 5 minus 7x power 4 minus 15x power 3. That is, sorry, alpha x power 3 plus 2x squared. And then we have plus 3x plus 6. And, okay, now, did I do some wrong? Yes, I have done this mistake. Do you know, I had done the mistake of not pressing next after power 3. So that would be completely wrong. Now write it out, plus 2x squared plus 3x. 
and lastly plus six it's good that i made the mistake and i realized it at the beginning itself so i mean i typed everything but anyways so this mistakes can happen you please be careful in your exams 2x power 5 minus 7x power 4 minus 15x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 6 divided by 2x plus 3. Now I'll calculate. It's already saved as 2. It's negative 148. I'm just going to write both the values. At x is equal to 2, it is minus 148 by 7 or it will be... Let me write it over here or minus 21, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. Now, why is this brackets there? Why are the brackets there? That means this these numbers will keep on repeating. Now, after this, again, the next one will be again 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. Again, 1, 4, 2, 8. It keeps on repeating. You know, that, that's what these brackets mean. Now, I need to try these options. So, let me clear this off. So you need to be very careful whether you have put the given question properly because sometimes if you have done this error, you'll get some value and then none of the answer will match that. You know, that's the thing. So you need to be very careful when you type in. Now let me try x power 4 minus, go next and now minus 5x cubed. Then we have plus x minus 1 by 2x plus 3. This is the remainder, last part. Now calculate it at 2. It's minus 1. No, it's not the same. It's close but not the same. So let me try the next one. x power 4 plus 5x squared here. Then we have plus x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 3. Okay, it's giving me an error over here. I was sorry because I have uh, not written plus. So now it's x power 4, 5x squared. Okay, this is now correct. I calculate at 2 always. Why? Because once I saved it, it's always saved over there. So this is also wrong, incorrect. You have to go to the next option. See, calculate it at 2 is already fed in once you feed so you can just type equal to and it'll automatically calculate it at x is equal to 2. Let's try the next one it is minus 5x power 3 plus x and then it is over here 6 divided by 2x plus 3. Oh here we go this is the correct answer option c. Okay sometimes it's it's good if you get at the first or the second option otherwise you need to do all the options you know there's nothing that can be done so go ahead with one two in order itself rather than jumping so this is the correct answer option c there you go now we have uh, this is mainly a writing problem uh, sort of a situation but a long division problem which is incomplete now we don't know what is the divisor we don't know what's the dividend and the quotient is also not given properly but we know the rules right so whatever you take over here if you have x then we multiply with this term and then you write it down over here so we know these two so 9x squared and over here we know it is sorry not the above one this one we need we know that is 9x squared isn't it so always we make these two same in the first term so this multiplied by this gives you this. So I'll just divide this answer by 3x. That must be my divisor. So it'll be 3x over here. So this is 3x. So if I multiply 3x with 3x, it's 9x squared. That's done. So now the first term is over 3x. Over here, this is done. Then whatever is the next term you multiply over here as well, isn't it? So I don't know what is that. But if I multiply it with 3x, I'm getting the same term. So it should be plus 1. So let me check now. If it's 3x times 3x, it's 9x squared. Correct. 1 times 3x is 3x. That's also correct. So this much we got. And now this is done. The quotient uh, divisor is done. So now here what happens? The second part. Here, the sign changes here, minus 3x, and then I add it up with this above. So if it was, say, 1x, 1x minus 3x will be minus 2x. But I got the same thing, the denominator. This is the same. 
So I add it with nothing here, isn't it? Because we change the sign of whatever is there. This also sign changes. This cancel is gone. But we don't need that. We need just this part. What happens is you add it with nothing. So it should be basically 0x minus 3x. You will get minus 3x itself. And then whatever is this term, you just bring it down over here, isn't it? So I'll write plus 5. So this is what happens over here. Now I have to find the next part as well. So it'll be 3x and over here 3x itself. Only the sign has changed, so it's minus 1. So it'll be minus 3x. Uh, 3x times minus 1 will be minus 3x and so on. You can continue. But we got all the unknown terms here. So we can check the answers. See, you can see that's it. Here we go. If you know the long division, this is pretty straightforward. This is most likely a writing part of question, but now if it's an electronic, it may not be asked. But I mean, they might ask you this specific one as well. It might be like that. And now the next one here, they have asked us to divide this and rearrange it in terms of quotient, remainder and the div dividend. So basically, it's just dividing this. We, we can use the long division or you can use the synthetic division. But since this is... It's a little bit complicated if you use synthetic division, so long division is better. But also you can check this answers. See, this is the final answer, right? You can check this using your calculator. You've done it. Assume the x value, type it in, and then see what value you get. What about this? You know, how can you check your expression? See, if you multiply these two, see the divide, uh, the whatever is the dividend with the quotient, you must get the above term. Okay, so you can multiply and also try and check getting the answers. So that is possible. Now, when a polynomial is divided over here by 4x minus 6, the quotient is given. And remainder is minus 4. What is the dividend? See, now this is very important. But just now we had it and di divided by. So we don't know what is the term. So I'll write it. It's like this question mark. You divide it with 4x minus 6. The answer was 2x squared plus x plus 1. And the remainder is minus 4. How do we write the remainder? Plus minus 4 divided by the dividend, isn't it? 4x minus 6. So this is it. Now you basically have to find this answer. So you multiply these two. You will get it if you multiply these two. How is that done? It will be... 4x minus 6 multiplied by 2x squared plus x plus 1 plus of minus 4 divided by 4x minus 6. Now, whenever you have remainder, what happens when you multiply? Over here, all these terms you have to multiply, but here this cancels. So it's basically like multiplying 4x minus 6 with 2x squared plus x plus 1. And then since it's minus 4, so just multiply it and write minus 4. Why didn't I write this? these words? They cancel off. Okay. So you can directly skip the step. I just written it in the actual orders. Whenever the remainders are given, just multiply the dividend and the quotient, just these two. And at the end, whatever is, they just add the remainder. But here it's minus 4, so I have to subtract the remainder. You're just adding... If it was, say, plus 5, you just write plus 5 at the end. So let's do this. Here you multiply. It'll be 8x power 3 plus 4x squared plus 4x. And then we have minus 12x squared minus 6x minus 6 minus 4. And now the highest degree is 8x cubed. And here you have minus 12 and plus 4. It's minus 8x squared. And it's minus 2x and lastly we have minus 10. So that must be the final answer. That's the divisor. So here we go. I mean that is what is being divided by 4x minus 8. Sorry. This over here is di divisor and whatever we got is the dividend. So here we go. That's the answer. Isn't it? Yes, that's correct. A real world problem, Luciano has a square garden. A new garden will have the same width and the length that is, okay, it's a square garden. They have not given us what is the dimension. So before we go ahead, let's assume this to be x. Then length and width are same, x and x. 
but it has same width. So this is also X over here, but the length is different. It is three feet more than twice the width. Three feet more means it's plus three, twice the width, two X, two X plus three. Okay, what we need to do is, okay, just try the variable. So this is it, this is the answer. And then they're asking us to write a ratio to represent the increase in the area of the garden. So now they want us to know how much increase it is. So multiply these two and divide by x squared. That's it. So here we go. I'll just write it out over here. Here it's going to be 2x squared plus 3x divided by x squared. Ratio, that will be the answer, the ratio. But now, okay, we can do the simplification here, isn't it? It will be 2 plus 3 by x. But here they have taken in terms of percentage, okay, the percent of increase. So percentage would be just multiplying by 100. So it will be 200 plus 300 by x. And for the last part here, we have to use the percentage of increase if the original area was 12 feet. So you just substitute this by 12, you'll get some area. So here you can see substitute by 12, you get 225%. Now this is the total, but the original was 100%, right? So there's 125 percentage of increase. So if you're comparing these words, because there's the ratio, the comparison, if this is 100%, this is 225%. But the increase from the original is 125%. So it's basically telling whatever the answer you get, if it's 100 year, over year the answer will be 225. So what's the increase from the original? It's 125 increase. So that is what it means. And here again, these multiple choices, we have done the similar ones. Please go back and see the calculator method is pretty easy over here. So all you need to do is use calculator, choose a X value and then check which is the correct one. And remember, if it's power degree four divided by X, then the answer must have a degree three. Here all are having, so it's easy to, uh, it's not easy to understand which one. So you need to keep on doing and check the correct answer. You should get C as the correct answer. What about this one? Again, it's the same thing. Choose a X value. Let it be two because I usually use two and you'll get all the always correct answer if you use two or three. Don't just use negative numbers or zero or one. Then just go ahead and try this and then you will get the correct answer here. The answer should be D. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.